Thank you, Bob and Bernie. Without you both, I wouldn't be here tonight. I can't tell you how much of an honor it is and how happy I am to be here. And it's a thrill to have as my presenters two Hall of Famers, Bob Clark and Bernie Perrant. I remember the thrills that they gave all the fans of Philadelphia. I remember the high standards that they set for hard work and dedication. Most of all, we all remember how they established a winning tradition in Philly. They even helped to change Philadelphians' image of themselves. Two million people at two Stanley Cup parades. Two million people. There's no greater love in sports than the Philadelphia Flyers and their fans. A special feeling of family permeates the Flyers organization. Bob and Bernie are more than former players. They are more than just members of the organization. They are my family. I love them and their wives, Sandy and Carol, and their children. We stick together, and we always will. Although we've had a lot of highs, we've also had lows. We grieved together when we lost both Barry Ashby and Pelly Lindbergh, two wonderful and classy individuals. We established the Barry Ashby Research Institute, and we've raised over two and a half million dollars at our annual carnival. All of the players, the front office, many of the alumni, their wives and children, all gather together at our annual carnival in behalf of this institute. And it really is a wonderful occasion for all of us. As I reflect on my 22 years in hockey, my thoughts turn to my good friend and partner, Joe Scott. He and his wife, Pat, were the only people I could find to invest in hockey in Philadelphia in 1967. Joe did everything to help hockey succeed, and I want to thank him for all that he's done. It's hard to believe that in the 1967 expansion, Philadelphia was voted the least likely franchise to succeed. And for a while, it looked like that would happen. The roof of the spectrum blew off in our first year, and we had to play our last seven home games on the road. But we still won our division, and we captured the hearts of the fans, and we were on our way. The coach of that first team, Keith Allen, and his wife, Joyce, had been part of the Flyers family for the entire 22 years. In 1969, I made the best decision I ever made in hockey. I appointed Keith vice president and general manager. He's one of the best ever, the greatest judge of talent I know, a good friend and a wonderful man, and a, just a terrific guy to have been associated with. There are many others that have been part of the Flyers family since the beginning. Joe Cadillac, Ed Van Imp, Joe Watson, Gene Hart, Jerry Melnick. This is very unusual in a sports organization, and we're very, very proud of that fact. I'm also particularly proud of the two Stanley Cups. Fred Sherrill wrote before the last game of the first cup, win today and we will walk together forever how right he was, the feeling that exists on that 74 and 75 team is hard to describe. However, my biggest regret is that my dad died in March of 74, barely two months before that cup. He was a great guy, and I miss him, but I'm very happy that my mom is able to be with me tonight here, as well as my entire family. My wonderful wife, Martha, 
my son Craig, who is director of advertising at the Centrum Arena, my son and his fiance Beth, my son Jay, who is now the uh, chairman, I mean the president and chief operating officer of the Flyers, and his wife Terry, my daughter Lindy, who's director of research for the Flyers, my daughter Tina, who's president of Ovations, our private club, and my little three-year-old daughter Serena, who's in charge of me. <laughs> How lucky can a guy get? And I'm lucky to have been part of helping the NHL grow and mature. We're a solid league today with, I think, enormous potential. And this is due in large part to the 1979 expansion brought about by the hard work of my friends John Ziegler, Billy Wirtz, Alan Eagleson, and Howard Baldwin. And I'm lucky to still be part of the Flyers. I'm as excited about the team as I was 22 years ago. And now that my son Jay and Bob Clark are running things, I'm even having a lot more fun. I want to thank all of the Flyer players for all of the thrills. The first group who worked so hard and sold hockey in a town that didn't even know what a puck was. The next bunch that won the cups. Then the guys that won an incredible 35 games without losing. And now, the present group that has gone to the finals in two of the last four seasons. And I hope they finally win a cup and understand the exhilarating feeling that I've described. I want to thank all 211 Flyer players who have worn the orange and black. Because in choosing to honor me tonight, you have really chosen to honor them. Thank you very much.